there we stop in our previous video we were able to build out the upload functionalities where users can drag and drop files or use our standard upload so in this very video we want to add the abilities for users to provide extra information about the video they are uploading like the video title the video description and probably a thumbnail maybe any other information that is needed so if you look at the original youtube application you see when you want to upload files once you drag and drop your file or while use your normal and upload it kind of um, replace the upload form with a separate form where you can provide the title descriptions and all that i know they are using ages for that so we could do something like that we want to um, build something similar to that so we're creating another form and that form we're going to replace this upload form with that form when we drag and uh, drag and drop our files we kind of uh, remove this upload form and put in that form that we are about to create now so all right so that's what we're doing now so let's quickly uh, do that so we're going to put the form inside this uh, video info div set the end type because you're going to be uploading and um, the thumbnail which is also an image file so we need to set it end type so we have the title the description also we want to put it in um, the select suite of those select the visibility of your video all right so we just put in a select feed visibility so our users can choose if the video should be public or if it should be private private videos are videos that will only be seen by the owner of the channel and probably anybody wants to share the links with it will not be accessible by other users so adding the the thumbnail so that's going to be let us create an right so the name is going to be thumbnail all right so we have a input for thumbnail let's just put in a span in here it's kind of the title for yours saying select right just let them know that here is going to be done you can just give here a little class see our form now uh, all right let's see if save this now and let's head back to our view let's just kind of refresh okay we have the form don't worry about this we'll kind of look for a way to hide the form the title is not all right let's quickly add some stable CSS to make this title input look a little bit good our description box is kind of too big all right let me just quickly make some kind of adjustment and we don't have our save button let's head back type of submit Okay, for the title we're gonna add a class so we added some classes to it now so let's see if I kind of head back and then refresh okay see how our title users can provide their title they can provide a description this is to it
okay i think it's better this way and then we can style yours better so here users can select public you can select private it depends on which ones you can set, set select your thumbnail okay this is the form one now wish to call it video details let's give this a little class so if you refresh all right i think it's better okay so what we want to do now we want to hide this video details form at first so that when users are providing their video they will not see this video details form but after they have provided a video we'll take out this video uh, upload form and display just this video details form right now another problem um, uh, with this is that if we had the video upload form i want to provide the title and description and all that the, we need to know the particular video that this title we are providing and the description we are providing belongs to so we are going to look for a way to provide the video because if you check the model i think we if we go to our model there's under video details if you scroll to video details here we have the video file before the title the description visibility and thumbnail all right and then secondly we did not set the directory of our thumbnail so let's quickly set upload to here upload to should go to a, a, a directory called thumbnail okay so once we save this we have to make migration so the point is we need to look for a way to let this uh, to, uh, more than know the video that this information has been provided upon so to do that we we'll use a very simple trick head back yeah we we'll use a very simple trick by adding another feed yeah we're going to put in another feed let's just create a simple div and here we're going to put another feed which is going to be the five feed not five feed it's going to be the video feed here we're going to call the name The video file is going to be coming from this feed then we're going to set an id attribute which is going to be the video id all right i want to set this feed to hidden because we don't need to show up in our video details form so we're going to set the properties to hidden so it's not going to be visible at first but what we're going to do we're going to use our ages to supply the video ID to this and uh, feed so it will be submitted along this form and uh, post request. Alright, so that's going to be the simple trick we're going to be using that. And uh, let's save this for now. And let's not forget to make our migrations because you did little changes to our model. Okay. So let's start our server again. Okay, our server started. So what we're going to do? So now the change is here. So first, we want to set initially. We want to set this feed to display no. So we'll go back to. Uh, I think we defined a class. Let's check our custom CSS in our static file. Right, so we define the class called hidden. So we're going to add this class to the video details form. So if we had the class of hidden, hidden to read, and we'll save our file. All right, so you see our video details form is no longer um, showing on the page. So that's okay. So that's for that. So what we need to do now, we have to head back to our JavaScript. Yes, in our upload and 
script so once the file complete and uh, upload is complete we want to take out the upload form so let's check the div this upload form is inside the upload file body div let's just confirm yes inside this div so we want to take out this div and uh, kind of leave a uh, display the other sorry let me check I think I'm not that's not true let me check properly the thing is this upload body this upload area should not be outside this so let's kind of take out something not here I think we are mistakenly putting the upload div close div here the upload area should just be here all right so that should be this uh, upload f okay correct so this upload file body should just wrap only the upload form and while the video details should just be a separate file a separate inside a separate div outside is a upload file body but everything is inside the upload console and console I mean alright so get that right so what we want to do now once the file finish uploading we want to access this uh, upload area by removing this full upload area and leaving and taking out the hidden from this uh, video info So in here we're gonna assess the upload area. So let's just try and grab the upload area from here. So let's um, say let's upload area. Alright. That's complete. We displayed our video in the complete and um, outside is complete. Yeah, we're gonna assess the upload area. Let me see upload area. Dot class. I want to assess the class of this upload area. I want to add the hidden class it will define in our CSS. And also we need to assess the there's this video area ID which is called video. We call it video info. We need to assess the video info div and also we need to assess the hidden uh, inputs and uh, uh, file and uh, yeah this input element we need to assess the id so let's grab those two elements again and just say the upload info right so let's get the Let's say five feet. It also goes to document. So that's the feed that we're getting with the ID. So heading back to our complete uh, callback method. Once we had the upload area, we want to set the upload info. Yeah, the upload info dot class on this video. So once we do that, we want to set. Let's test this out first. So let's save this and then also save this. So let's go back and refresh. And let's see if this will actually do the magic for us. So let's try and upload this little file. Look at one. Let's upload this. Oh, oh, our page is not updating. So let's quickly find out what the issue is. All right, the reason why we are having this error where we are not able to upload the video was because we are not signed in. And normally, it's supposed to redirect us to the signing page. 
because we tried to I believe we used our logged in required in one of these uh, one of the videos in our previous uh, recording and then uh, that is not working because we placed the login require in the wrong uh, view function normally if the user is not logged in we're not supposed to see this uh, upload form because that is how the normal YouTube is if you head to youtube.com let's look at YouTube now okay you see I'm not sending if I try to go to the uh, upload page, it will redirect me to that now. You see, it's redirecting me to send it before I can access that page. But ours, we made a mistake. We're not supposed to allow the users to see this upload page if they are not signing. So that's where we're going to fix now. So we'll head back to our view. And uh, this of us to put the login required in the uh, upload processing. We should put it in the upload view. Because the user should not be able to see the view if they are not logged in to avoid those errors so we just cut this out and bring it here so users are supposed to log in before they can see our uh, view all right so if we save that let's check if our server is up and running okay now if we refresh this page you see it redirect us to the login page so this is why it's supposed to work normally you can see the next parameter because the user used to log in before we can actually upload any video so that's for that so so let's quickly sign in with the admin okay once we sign in we are in this page we can upload our video so let's test again so i will see if our uh, form will change so let's then use the drag and drop to test this time. Let's just quickly pick any simple sample video. Okay, our video was uploaded, but our form did not change. So let's quickly check our ages. Yeah, first let me. All right, there's no actual. There's actually there's no error. I just have to claim a. Uh, Browsers and catch, so that was the reason I believe the CSS was not actually loading. So I just cleared the cache and it works. So let's quickly test it again and let's just drag and drop this file. You can see our form automatically immediately changed. We now have our details form where we can provide the videos in title, description, and set public or choose wherever and saved. So you can see, see where our video details form is here. The video is also in the same page too just like in youtube so what we we'll do now is to process this form we just use a normal jingle to process this form if you want to use ajas also to process the form you can also use ajas but i want to use a normal jingle to do that all right so that's not all in our form that is the upload form remember we have a hidden feed that is supposed to there's expecting a video ID so we want to populate the value of this feed with the video ID from our ages so in this place we're going to set the we call it five feet we call it a uh, five feet so we're going to say five feet dot value five foot is this element here that's this input and uh, hidden element that's a five feet so we want to set the value equal to our video remember we have video ID coming in from our ages response that's the JSON response that we're having and then we call that and uh, okay data we have data we have the video ID property we're going to set this value to and uh, data dot v id the video ID that is actually coming from our JSON response now in Django view so we just define the little view a small view there's no much functionality which we're going to call um, call it a uh, video info um, process and it's kind of a weird function so this is going to take in request there's a normal request view Method equal post. We want to grab the file from the post. Say file D video file. 
And also we need to grab the title, then we need to grab the description, then the visibility, visibility thumbnail. So we're gonna get the thumbnail. So from the okay, so we are getting our file from our request. After getting our file, we need to get the video that these details are for through the video ID. So we get the, the same video equals um let's use the get object of our for shortcuts method so let's quickly import that from our shortcuts where we have redirect we want to import uh, get object of all for all right so let's quickly which is going to be get object of all for in this case we need to pass in the name of the model video file and the that as well, we're going to have the ID we're going to equals to the file underscore ID. As this, uh, that the file ID that is coming from the value of this uh, feed. So we're going to get the video. Now we have access to the video. We can create the video information by calling the the video. I think let's check if we've imported the model as the video and. Uh, detail model of not so let's quickly import the video detail model all right so we're going to assess that model now dot objects dot create i want to create passing in we have video file we have the video file which is going to equal the video that we just get as the video we just get then secondly we need to get in the title the thumbnail all right so once we finish creating this object with this information we now to redirect go to return the redirect I don't think we should redirect to the my channel's page I guess and um, redirect to my channel's page where we have the slug equals to the request username of the user that is logged in so that's to redirect the user back to the to the channel's page once they finish the upload that's if the request was successful and then I think if it was not successful we should kind of return a redirect back to the upload page I guess and that should take us back to the upload that will take us to the file upload page back that means this request was not successful that's if it's not successful okay I think that's all for our view the message later on let's just put the comments here successful you can use the Django message to do that but I don't want to do that here now so let's just put a comment so I will know you are expecting the message there so let's save this back all right let's try and upload the key from the beginning just let's refresh and get this out of the way refresh again and let's try and upload the file Speakify. Okay, so let's test this. Let's call this test video. Test description. Let's choose a thumbnail. Let's look for any image. Okay, let's try out this. 
let's hit the save we are getting forbidden oh we did not handle CFROs okay and uh, that's true sorry let's head back to our form CSRF and it's going to take him. That's for that, and also we can just put in the URL that's supposed to run this view. Did we even set up the URL? Oh, another issue we didn't set up the URL for this function. Okay, let's head back to our URL file. I totally forgot. Alright, so we have a video data and um, driver is set up already. Call it um, video data and um, video details. Okay, the URL to handle this. So save this and the CFRF token is here. My URL is set up. And then you no, know, we don't want to resubmit, we want to cancel. Okay. So let's try and upload the gear. Let's try and upload this again. Alright. Our video is still you can just paste in our test video call it test description and let's just choose the same if we hit save it take us to my channel's page that means it was successful because we set it to redirect to the user's channel's page if it is successful so let's quickly check in uh add me to see if actually sorry actually we have a video dt all right we have our video dt which is the you can see the video and the video title and title descriptions and its visibility set to public and the thumbnail all right that means it's working fine okay next video we're doing a bit for users to display the videos that i just uploaded in their videos and tab all right guys so don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up thank you